Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make Fundum Wiki page. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be wondering how to actually start your Fundum Wiki page. Well, this one is actually pretty easy. So there are a few steps that you need to do for you to create your first page or your Wiki pages. But in this case, what we need to do first is we need to have a browser that we get access. So in this case, I already opened up a browser here and I went to the following website, which is going to be fandom.com, which is the official website for Fundum. Now in this case, what we need to do next is we need to start creating a wiki. So typically at the bottom section of your screen, you should see a button that says start a wiki. So it's underneath the wiki section here. Go ahead and click on start a wiki. Now once you click on it, it's going to reject you to another page wherein you're going to be asked a few information about your big page. Now since we are making a wiki page here, we want to name our community. So in this case, we need to enter a name for our community here. So maybe I want to create a community that is based on dogs. So I want to say it is going to be a dog life wiki. So uh, once you've done that, you could go ahead and other edit other aspects of your community here. Like for example, give your community address. So it's dog life. I also have the language for wiki, which is English. But if you have a different or if you want to write this on a different language, you could go ahead and choose whatever language that you have or they have here. Now, once you've done that, the next thing you want to do is you want to click on the next community info. So it's going to reject you to another page. Now, if you haven't created your account yet or you haven't logged in into your account, you'll be rejected into the another or another page here where it's going to say join fandom today or you can go ahead and click on sign in to sign in into their platform. Now, in this case, I want to create my account or connect my account via Google. So you could go ahead and click on Google here. But if you want to use Facebook, Twitch or Apple, you could go ahead and do that or do this manually. You could do that as well. But for now, I'm going to choose Google here. And once we click on it, it's going to reload or load the Google accounts here. And once we've done that, we want to pick a username here. So I'm going to use this username here. So hopefully it's available. And once we've done that, we could go ahead and add it, add our birthday here. So go ahead, add all necessary details. So maybe I want to say my birthday is going to be try 14. And once we've done that, we want to agree and just click on connect with Google. Now, once you've done that, choose your account again to confirm. And from here, it's going to redirect you to another page into this section here. So it's going to say we can't complete your registration. So in this case, you just need to try. So go ahead and try again and see if that works. Now, once you've created your, your account and you've filled out all necessary details, you'll be led into the community section. So you need to describe your community. So it is community directed to children on the age of 13. So you also have to clarify that. In this case, I want to describe my community as a dog's life community. So you can go ahead and describe whatever his community is for about. And you also have to choose the hub here. So maybe for movies, anime, comics, music, lifestyle. So maybe I want to choose lifestyle here and check additional categories. So maybe I want to say this is for creative as well as philosophy. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and choose all necessary details here and just click on create my community. Now, once you've done that, it's going to say similar community detected. So dog life wiki, so games. So the new wiki is a fun fun wiki related to topics. So it's going to say, if you believe this new wiki you're trying to create is not a duplicate visiting wiki, please check the boxes below that will help our staff. There's what is different about this new wiki you are creating. Now, if there are similar wiki that you are creating, it's going to, uh, you need to clarify a few things since you're creating new one. So a new wiki in fan, uh, is a fanon wiki related to this topic, focus on non-canon, no, fan stories, artwork. So and the new wiki is a freak uh, for a sequel or remake of a topic that will not be covered on the existing wiki. So go ahead and answer that. So add a check next to it if that's the case. So the new wiki is for a similar topic but a different medium. So the existing uh, wiki is for totally inactive approved to start a new wiki on this topic and request the old wiki to be closed. So this topic is test project or sandbox for my own personal use and the new wiki is not at all related to the topic of the existing wiki being displayed above. I feel I was flag in error. Now in this case, you could go ahead and check whatever here. 
So in this case, I'm going to choose this Aegis a test project or a sandbox for my own personal use. Just click on create my community. So by continuing, you're acknowledging that you understand the wiki will be reviewed by a staff and will be deleted if found to be in violation of our duplicate wiki policy. In this case, just click on new continue. Now, there are going to be some policies here, so meaning that you cannot create a duplicate of this specific wiki here. So if you get the error here that says your email should be confirmed to create a wiki. So go ahead and open up your email here. So since I use my Gmail account, I want to go to gmail.com and I want to go ahead and go ahead and go to fandom here, the email that I received. Just click on confirm now to confirm my account. And once it is actually done, you should be able to see your um, wiki here or your account. But for now, just hit on continue and it should now work. Now from here, it's going to ask while you wait, choose a team. So we need to choose a team for this wiki here. So you can choose Nebula, Cargo, Blank. So maybe I want to use the Fandom Classic here. So once we've done that, we could go ahead and choose the Light Mode here or Dark Mode here, depending on what you need. So I'm going to choose the Light Mode here. And once I've chosen that, we could go ahead and uh, go and wait for it to actually uh, submit our information. So your wiki will now be created to so review the staff members within five business days. So in this case, just go ahead and click on the go to wiki here once it's available. And from here, you could go ahead and start editing your article or your wiki. Now, in this case, for you to edit some sections into your wiki here, so by default, this is going to be the feed that we have right now. So in this case, the Dogs Live community, which is the description of or the description for our community here. So if you collab you collab with the community, website about Dog Live, anyone. So this is going to default content. Now, if you want to edit a certain section, you can go ahead and click on the edit option here. And you should be able to edit that specific section. So just wait for it to load up. Sometimes it might be uh, or it might be quite slow for some. But once you click on edit, you should be able to edit some information about this one. So in this case, you could go ahead and start editing it. Like for example, uh, dogs like community. So I want to say hi everyone, everyone. And once you've done that, or once you've added all the necessary text here, just click on the option that says save at the bottom right. Now, also, if you have like articles that you want to uh, insert, you could go ahead and click on the sections here and basically uh, replace them. Now, also, if you want to add images, like for example, I want to add an image here. So let's just press on insert here and add a sample image. Go ahead and do that and click on upload here instead of search. And you could go ahead and click on select file here. And I want to go to my downloads folder since this is where my uh, images are. So let's just wait for it to pop up. In this case, you could go ahead and choose your image here. Click on open. And it's going to start the upload. And I agree the, to the image policy terms of use. Just click on upload. And from here, it's going to upload that image. And we'll be able to see it into this section here. So let's just wait for it to load up. Click on save. And once uh, the media, uh, oops, save that, we could go ahead and view the media settings here. So currently, this is the information for this image. So let's just click on use this image. From here, media settings. So a uh, caption for the is image for this is a picture of a dog. And from here, you can also add alternative text here. So in case the image doesn't actually load up properly, you could add alternative text. So maybe I want to say this is a dog and click on insert here to fully insert that image. And from here, you could go ahead and position it in a way that you want. Now, in this case, maybe I want to uh, change a few things. Like for example, I want to move this around, make it uh, a lot at the very top here. Go ahead and minimize the uh, the text, the length or the, sorry, the uh, size of it itself you can go ahead and do that so move it around if you want to as well even resize the image if you want to so yeah so once you've done that you could go ahead and start adding links as well if you want so in this case we want to go ahead and click on the save button here at the bottom right and as you can see the image is now available now if you want to edit some aspects other aspects on it you could go ahead and just hit on the edit section again and again we'll be able to edit a few things on our um, text here or the content that we have. Now, if you want to uh, further edit your like for example, you want to add another page for your wiki. So what we need to do here is we need to go to the top right here 
and you should see the three dotted icon. So in this case, you have add new page, upload new file, admin dashboard, special pages, analytics, and team designer. In this case, we want to click on add new page here, and we want to add a title for this page. So I'm gonna say it is going to be a uh, doggy, going to be a doggy dictionary. And what we want and uh, next thing we want to do here is click on next. And once we've added our title here, you should be able to basically view this page here. Now, in this case, you can go ahead and start adding whatever you want here. So maybe you want to add an Im another image here. Click on image, click on upload. And from here, we could go ahead and actually just basically drag our images here if you want to, since I already have them. So I want to go ahead and upload this image here, drag it in here, agree to image policy terms of use, click on upload again, and from here, add a description. So this is a dog. For me, click on save. And from here, you could go ahead and click on use this image and add a caption if you want to. So if you want to uh, use the advanced option here, which in this case, position, wrap text around this item. Or if you want to position it to left or center or right. So we want to position this at the left section here. And we want to choose the image type here. So you can frame list, frame, basic, and thumbnail. So we want to use the assembly option here. From here, click on insert once you're satisfied. And from here, you could go ahead and start adding your text. So maybe I want to say this is a dog I like. And from here, you could go ahead and highlight them. Add like, for example, you want to make this bold, italic, or even highlight it or underlined if you want that. And you also have the bullet option here or the countdown if you want to as well. And from here, we want to add other information I like this dog. Uh, this dog. So it depends on what you want to add your information here. Like just a uh, placeholder, I'm going to add random text here. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and uh, add other uh, aspects into it. Like maybe we want to add another image. Just click on add new image here. Click on upload. And from here, uh, click on it so that you'll be able to upload another image. Maybe you want to use this one instead. Click on open. Click on the option I agree. Upload again and add description if you want to. And in there, it's going to start uploading that. Now from here, let's just click on the use this image option. Add captions if you want to. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and insert this one. And if you want to edit the image yourself, you can go ahead and click on image. Click on edit. And you should be able to go to advance. Change it. Like I would position this at the left section here. Click on apply. Once you've done that, you could go ahead and start editing or adding your text. So again, you could go ahead and start adding it. Like for example, this is a good dog. And from here, you go ahead and go ahead and insert that. So in this case, if you want to add a paragraph here in this section here, you could go ahead and do that. So this is a good dog. So if you want to enter this one, we'll be able to add the section. So you go again, you could go ahead and add your text effects here if you want to. Click on save once done. And that should actually apply our section here. So you can see this is a good dog and a lot more. So if you're not satisfied with the editing here, you click on edit again, change whatever you want. So in this case, we want to click on edit and we should be able to see this section here. So we'll be able to position some certain things or aspects into it to adjust it properly for our liking. Now, once we've done that, click on save again to save your changes. As you can see, it's a lot more adjustable. So, but the section here is kind of not good. You could go highlight like them and click on edit section again to remove that. But once you've done that, you could go ahead and properly adjust your website here. Now, yeah, so this is our page here. So which this is page two. Now, when we go back into our pages here, so let's just go to main page here, which is our wiki's dog life wiki. And as you can see, this is where we will be able to edit certain aspects into it. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and click on edit again. Now, once in here, you can go ahead and add your links. So in this case, we want to click on the link option here. And you can go ahead and just type in a keyword for that specific page. So maybe you want to link a dog dictionary, the doggy dictionary that we created. And from here, we could go ahead and click on this one. So if you see this one, just click on wait for it. Just wait, click on wait for it. Choose your doggy dictionary here. As you can see, everyone. So we want to add a this is the doggy dictionary and we could go ahead and just click on the save at the bottom right 
to save our changes and as you can see we were able to link our second page here so when we click on it you should be able to see the next page that we just created and yeah so this one is actually pretty simple it actually depends on how you edit your fundum here so it depends on how you edit it it's going to change how much you style it so depending on how you are really engage your imagination how you set up your articles here or your fundum it's going to basically adapt to that but yeah so that's about it so if you found this video helpful hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video